Now I want you to notice as we enter into this next section that we're going to be looking at lots of different types of squigglies and how to work with those. Now my definition of a squiggly is basically a function, a graph. Some of our squigglies, like number one, it's a straight line. We become comfortable with those in the past. One and two are both straight. Three, two, it's like a piecewise graph. And then four, five, six, and seven, those are curvies, those are squigglies. Now, each of these graphs follow a basic type of a function. We have a constant, number one. We have a linear line in number two. Number three, we have an absolute value function. Number four, we have a quadratic. Number five, we have a square root function. Number six, we have a cubic function. And number seven, we have a cube root function. Again, these will be the most common functions that we're gonna kind of work with as we continue on from here. Now, before I let you go, as you're looking at these functions, I want you to also be able to identify, well, what are their domains? And what are their ranges? And are there any specific intervals where the graphs may be increasing or decreasing? For example, number five on the cube root function, its domain looks like it starts at zero, so it's from zero to positive infinity. Its range, since this arrow is continuing going up, although very slowly, its range is also from zero to infinity. And it's increasing over the interval from zero to infinity. So those are some of the things I want us to be able to look at and have an idea of what's happening with these basic functions that we're gonna spend a little bit more time with.